So welcome everybody. Welcome to Channeling Kriya. Today is March the 7th, 2021. And I uh, just want to let everybody know that I'll be leading everybody into a short meditation. And whenever I feel that I'm kind of connected with the energies, then the uh, channeling will begin. And after the channeling, we'll have a um, kind of question and answer period. So let's begin. Let's begin by just starting to tune into ourselves by putting our attention on our breath. So just start to breathe in slowly with intention and when you can breathe in no more then start to breathe out and then repeat again breathing in slowly and then breathing out slowly and follow the rhythm of your own breathing And do this a couple more times so that you start to relax yourself, relax your body. And make sure your shoulders are starting to relax. And when you feel yourself feeling more relaxed, then set in the, the intention that you want to be present. You want to be present to this moment. You want to be present to your own breathing. And then also start to shift your attention into your heart and start to feel your own energy going to where you are placing your attention in your heart area. And when you do that, you will start to feel that there is a little bit more weight on your heart letting you know that your focus and energy is indeed in your heart. And you can actually also imagine that you can breathe in and out through your heart. Imagine that you can actually breathe in fresh air into your heart and as you breathe out, breathe out anything, any thoughts, any energies that is taking you away from this moment. Just let it all out. And when you are connected to your heart, set the intention to be connected to your body and also connected to your earth soul, your entity, who normally resides in your solar plexus area. And you also connected to your cosmic soul that is communicating with you through your heart. And set the next intention is to 
align your earth soul and your cosmic soul. Align them to your higher self, the highest frequency of your soul that you have access to in this moment. And feel energetically that there is an opening, a column of energy that extends from the base of your spine all the way up to the top of your head and beyond so that energetically you are connected to the highest vibration version of you. And simply be open to receive, to receive any exchange, any communication that comes from your higher self or from your soul or from your earth soul or any communication that is coming from the rest of your body. Allow yourself to become one with all parts of you of physical and non-physical parts of you. And just be in the space of receiving, of being open to infinite possibilities. For that is who we are. We are infinite possibilities. And it is time now for each and every one of us here to start to connect with that infinite possibilities that we all are. Even though we have a body and we have something we called a life while we are playing on earth. However, we are a lot more than that. We are infinite possibilities experiencing what it is like to be limited, limited to only what is possible on earth. But even while we are on earth, even though our infinite possibilities has been reined in somewhat, However, we are still able to access a lot of possibilities that we have hardly even started to explore. Even in this body, even on earth, even on this most magnificent playground. Yes, we have consented to come and limit a part of our experience. But when I say limit, 
it is still. full of possibilities. It is limited only by comparison to the infinite possibilities that is completely open to each and every one of us as source beings. Yes, we are limited to only experiencing what is available for us to experience while we are on earth. However, we are still connected to all the other parts of ourselves that are on different planets, on different dimensions, even in different realities, different worlds, different universes. We are still connected to them, to all the other parts of us. And even within Earth itself, there are so many things that we have not even started to explore so far in the history in the history that most of us here who is listening in this moment and in all other moments of now, even then. The history that we can remember in this moment is actually only a very limited part of it. It's part of our agreement for coming to Earth while Earth was experiencing a very limited version of third dimension experiences. Because bringing in all of our experiences, our vast memories of all the experiences that is available on Earth. Will trigger us and make it hard for us to keep our focus on playing in this very limited third dimensional earth. In the days, years, and the decades to come, each and every one of us here will start to recover those memories. You will start to remember and be able to access all the other times that your body had lived in previous times, previous lifetimes. There has been a few times that Earth has actually been able to get to a very high vibration and high evolution, much more so than where we are right now. But most of us don't remember that now. We will, you will remember those. The memories will be back. It is a promise. Because from 
now on as the frequency of earth and especially frequency of the human collective we start to climb climb back to where it is necessary for us to remember and have access to all the memories that's within our energetic records. At some point, when we have progressed and remembered enough, then we would remember how to open the doors for ourselves so that we have access to anything that we wish to find out. It is not long. It won't take very long until we get there. But even, even while your memory is still limited, even in this state, you still have access to all of the possibilities that Earth in this environment has to offer you. Connect with your heart. Connect with your Earth soul. Allow yourself to be connected with Mother Earth as well. Feel the energies of Mother Earth coursing through your body again. Reconnecting you with all the memories that Earth is holding on your behalf. Be open, be open to receiving whatever it is that you need it in this moment. Not just from your cosmic soul's memory, not just from your earth soul's memory, but also from the memories that Earth holds for millenniums, for many, many millenniums, you have access to all of that. Be open to be connected to all those memories energetically and allow those memories to start to trigger you, trigger your body into remembering more than what it has been allowed to remember. up until now. A 
allow yourself to be reconnected with the meridians of Earth, of Mother Earth. To allow your body to start to be connected fully with Mother Earth with Mother Earth as it is right now in this moment. Mother Earth is a walking, living, transforming entity. It is not just a hunk of rock. It is a living, sentient being. A very kind, very different kind of being from you or I. It has a different source code. The earth is a living encyclopedia. It has all of the memories of all the civilizations and all the other visitors who has worked. have been on earth. Not even, not only that, it has access to the sun's energies as well. And because Earth is a sentient entity, it is actually connected to all of the other playgrounds in this galaxy. It has so much to offer. All of that is available to each and every one of us. to allow yourself to soak in all that earth has to offer. All of the wisdom that has been stored and placed on earth for our benefit. Some of these wisdom it 
maybe a little different from what you consciously know. But unconsciously, unconsciously, you know how to make use of those wisdom that Mother Earth is sharing with you. Just because you are here. No extra charge. You can soak in as much as you want or as little as you want. You are the one that is available. To make that choice for yourself. Allow your body to start to bring those energies in. Feel how they interact with your energetic body. Mother Earth loves you. You are, you are her children. She welcomes you. She beckons you to play, to play full out, to turn up your creator skills, to start to exercise. The infinite possibilities that is within you. It is a co creation. Mother Earth learns and evolves by being host to her children. And we, our cosmic souls, and our earth souls also learn as we co-create with Mother Earth and with each other. We learn about creation. Our soul learns how it is to create in our mind and how does that translate 
to physical form. And we learn by playing. We learn by creating. And we learn by purely being in the joy of creation. As you allow more wisdom to come to you, be open, be open to create from your heart. and really create, create something that you have never created before. Create something that no one has ever created before. As humans, we've been conditioned to not fail. We don't like failure very much. We don't know, or we have forgotten that there is no failure in creation. Every creation is a successful creation. You may not have created exactly what you have wanted. But the only way you can fail as if you don't even try. And as long as you try, then there is no failure. We are all being called now. to let go of our previous limits. If you're not sure whether you can do something or not, then that is the best time to find out. There's only one way to find out, is to start doing it. connected and tapped, tap into that infinite creative abilities that we have within and play, play.
playing is so important. Allow yourself to let go of the layers, the layers of confinement that you have taken up. Yes, you have consented to certain limits. While you are playing on earth. But we're here to tell you that some of those limits, actually a lot of those limits, are simply training wheels. They are not hot and fast. A lot of those limits are simply suggestions. Suggestions that um, you may want to stop here for a moment. before you go on to beyond these limits. Training wheels, they are there. Simply to make it easier for you to start out and once you get going, once you've learned how to balance yourself, then it is time to take off those training wheels. Let all those training wheels go. Let all those suggested limitations go and start to go beyond. Start to come together and help one another out. Help one another to go beyond what each one of us alone can. And when we start to help each other to swing further ahead, We can start to look back at those limitations and really appreciate them and let them go. That's what they are for. They are there simply as a guideline. Now that the third dimension is coming down, the 
the next dimension. What is limited in the third dimension? Is no longer limited in the next dimension, the fifth dimension. You're going to feel like you have grown wings where in the past you need a machine to fly you, to help you fly from one place to another in the next dimension. You don't need that anymore. You yourself will start to be able to tap to start to tap into your own abilities. Not necessarily to fly in the normal sense of flying, but you'll be able to go from one place to another place as if you could fly. Be open to that. Be open to letting go of so many limitations. That no longer applies to you. And when you move into the fifth dimension. It does not mean that you have no limitations. Simply mean that you have less limitations. So much less that relatively Speaking, you would think that you have become magical. The truth is, you are magical. You are a most magnificent magician playing the role of a dummy. It's about time that you start to remember how to be magical. Allow yourself to tap into that magical part of you. The next time you come across something that is a roadblock for you, Set the intention that you are open to connect 
with the magical part of you so that you can come up with a way to get around that obstacle. Miracles that can happen if you allow them to happen. If you let go of the limiting belief that I haven't done that yet or nobody has ever done that yet. And simply focus on what it is that you wanted to play with. Let's find a way. I'm open to receive inspiration to, to perform this miracle. Be wholeheartedly open to be the magician Be wholeheartedly open to co create. Be wholeheartedly open to partner with Mother Earth, with all your other playmates that's also here on Mother Earth. Be open to partner with the magical part of you. Be open to live a life of yes. Yes, I can play. Yes, I can co-create. Yes, I can be magical. Yes, I would love to experience that. And that is the magic of a human being. So full of possibilities. We 
love to see that. We love. To be a part of that co-creation. We love to remind you that even though you have taken on certain limitations while you're here playing on earth. That that is just an illusion You're within you inside you it's still flowing flowing with that limitless possibilities You are the magical, limitless being that is playing as a relatively limited being on Earth. You are so limitless that you needed to take on the role of being limited just to see how far you can push that limit. And we can't wait to see how much fun you're going to have while you play that role. So thank you. Thank you for being the magnificent you playing this role. And we want to remind you that you always have full permission. You always. Full support from us, from Mother Earth, to take off your training wheels and start to fly. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for spending this time with us. <laughs>